Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to write Java code in Google Colab. So, if we read what is Google Colab, it allows us to write and execute Python in our browser with zero configuration, free access GPU, and easy sharing. It's great for students, data scientists, and AI searchers. But if we dig more into the definition provided by Wikipedia, we see that even though that it only allows us to create notebooks in Python 2 and Python 3, however, if the notebook contains a kernel other than Python and Python, uh, Python 2 or Python 3, such as R or Swift, it also will work in Google Colab. But even here, they don't mention the Java. Thanks to Spencer Park, he created a Jupyter kernel for executing Java code. So we're going to use his iJava to write Java code inside Colab. But it has a trick. I'm going to show you how it can be done. First, you're going to go to the Colab, create a new notebook. After creating the notebook, we have to first download it. Then we have to open it using our, I'm going to use Notepad++, you can use Notepad or anything else. And here we have to specify that we're going to use Java. Okay, I'll try Java. And here, Java. And save. Then we close it. We close this. Yes, I'm going to leave. Then we go here, file, upload notebook, and you drag the one that we modified by ourselves into Google Colab. Here we have, still here, we can't write anything. Dot out, dot print, and then it's gonna crash the code still because it doesn't have yet the kernel, the Java kernel. And here you can see that it will give you this notification that it is trying to run something but doesn't have the Java code. How to do it? We're going to create a code and then paste this. So what are we doing here? I'm, uh, I'm getting the latest version of iJava from the directory from the report, uh, repo of Spencer Park. Then I'm unzipping it and then I'm using Python to install it inside our system. So if you see now it is installed. If you try it here, let's try it now. Maybe we can try the one which we wrote earlier. You can see it still says it is, cannot find. So what we can do, we can reconnect. Initialize, then run, and voila. Now we can write our Java code inside of Google Colab. To try it more, 
we can try it like scanner in equal a new scanner system dot in integer i is equal to n dot next int and of course let's print it run so he is going to ask us to enter a number 2021 and he printed us the value so now this notebook is java enabled what can you do to not do this another time you can every time make a copy of it make a copy of it either in, in drive or or if you have a github it's the same save a copy But every time you make a copy, you have to see here if, if we run it, it will not work. A save, it will not work. You have to always, when you make a copy of the notebook, to run this command at least once. Then say Java, and when time is reconnecting, as you can see here. and run it voila it's done and you can use it easily so to make sure that i made it clear now we can delete this okay and even this we can delete this okay save save Let's go back to Google Collab. Okay. So if I choose one of the ones I already deleted my code, you can see here. Now still recognizes Java as the kernel so a final recap you first create an empty collab uh, ipymb ipython notebook then you download it on your pc you open the note uh, any note editor notepad notepad plus plus you put in the java in, uh, in place of python and then you upload it here and you run the code that I early, earlier have presented. I will put it inside the, the description so that you can have fast access to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please, if you have any comments, I'm ready to hear them. Don't forget to like and subscribe.